Hello and welcome back to Bicycle Legs. Today we have another episode in the series Studio Albums Ranked. Today I'm going to be talking about one of my favourite bands of all time, Talking Heads. A band that I think needs no introduction. Um, I'm going to be ranking the studio albums from my least favourite to my most favourite. I won't be covering any um, compilation albums or live albums. So let's get straight into it. Uh, there are eight studio albums in total. Uh, coming in at number eight, we have their 1986 album, True Stories. Now, I like this album fine. The biggest problem with this album was it was never really meant to be a Talking Heads album. Um, the songs are songs that were written for David Byrne's movie True Stories, which is a wonderful film and I would recommend anybody go and see it. But they don't all work well as Talking Heads songs. They work better in the context of the movie and often sung by the characters in the movie. Um, still, Wild Wildlife is a fabulous single. Um, yeah, uh, Love for Sale is a great song too, Puzzling Evidence. Um, as I say, most of the songs though work better in the context of the film. My number seven album is going to be Speaking in Tongues from 1983. Now, the reason I rank this one relatively low isn't because of the songs. There's some great songs on this album. For me, the problem is with the production. Um, the production's a little thin, a little watery for my taste. Um, every song that is on this album that they ended up doing live on the Stop Making Sense album, I think the version on the Stop Making Sense album is much, much better than it is on this studio album. Still, uh, you can't argue with an album that has songs like Burning Down the House and Girlfriend is Better and Swamp, um, This Must Be the Place. I mean, those are the famous songs, but Making Flippy Floppies Wonderful too, Slippery People. Um, yeah, really good songs, just suffers from not great production in my humble view. At number six, we're going to have Little Creatures from 1985. Now I really do like this album, but it's a much more straightforward album for Talking Heads. The, the, there's not a lot of uh, African influence or strange or odd instrumentation or anything like that. They're really going for a very stripped down uh, pop sound on this album. There's nothing wrong with that. There's some wonderful songs on this. And I mean, some big hits on this album. Um, you know, and she was, and Road to Nowhere, The Lady Don't Mind's a wonderful song. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a good album, but I just like some of these other albums better. At number five, and some people might be a little surprised I'm ranking this this low, but it's only because the other albums are so great, and that is Talking Heads 77, which is from 1977. The debut album, it's a great album. There's a real naivety to this album that I've always really liked. Um, so many great songs. Obviously the song everybody knows on this album is Psycho Killer. Um, but Don't Worry About the Government's a great song and No Compassion and um, Who Is It, New Feeling. There's a lot of wonderful songs on here. And as I say, there's a freshness and a naivety to this album that I really, really like. My number four album is the follow-up from 1978, More Songs About Buildings and Food. And the songs on this album are similar to, in style to the uh, Talking Heads 77 album. But the big difference here is there's a big step up in the production because this is the first album where Brian Eno is involved with the band. And he really does make a huge difference to their sound. Um, there's a, an, again, as with all of these albums, lots of great songs here. They're, the big famous song on this is their cover version of Al Green's Take Me to the River. Um, but 
Thank You For Sending Me An Angel is a wonderful song. The Good Thing, Warning Signs, a wonderful song. I've always loved that song. The Girls Want To Be With The Girls, Found A Job. There's a great version of that in the movie version of um, Stop Making Sense. Um, Artists Only is great, Stay Hungry. Um, the only song on this album I've never been too keen on, and some talking heads may find this a bit strange, but I've never been a massive fan of the big country. I don't know. Um, just musically, it's a little plodding and same-ish for me. The lyric is very clever, but yeah. So coming in at number three, and some people are probably going to be really surprised that I rank this album as highly as I do because the critics don't like this album so much but it is one of my favorites and that is Naked from 1988. Um, this was their last album which is a shame but um, yeah there's just I love the sound on this album the horns and the uh, South American percussion and that sort of thing on this album I really really like and there's just so many good songs on this album I mean I could just list them all off I mean Blind I remember when that first came out and the the film clip for that song is so cool too uh, Mr. Jones the horns on that are just wonderful um, Totally Nude Nothing But Flowers is a great single as well uh, and then the the B-side yeah, it's a little more dense and a little slower. Uh, the Democratic Circus, The Facts of Life, Oh Daddy Picks Things Up, um, Cool Water's a Great Closer. So yeah, just a, I think it's a wonderful album and I think it's really the underrated album in the Talking Heads catalogue. Um, and in some ways it follows the formula of this album, my number two album, which is Remain in Light from 1980. Now, a lot of people would rank this as their number one, and I couldn't really argue with that. I mean, it is a masterpiece. Um, every song on this album is wonderful, but it, it does have this sort of thing where side one is the, the fast songs and side two is the slow songs, um, which is fine. That's really good, in fact. Um, but so many good songs. The Great Curve, Cross-Eyed and Painless, and Born Under Punches is, is side one, and to me... That's just such a killer side of music. Um, Houses in Motion is great. Once in a Lifetime. Um, yeah, I mean, just really good songs on this album. But my number one holds a special place in my heart, not just because the songs are so good and the production is great from Brian Eno, as it is indeed on Remain in Light, but um, this album was the one that really got me into Talking Heads. Um, I was familiar with the singles and that sort of thing in the sort of early to mid 80s but a friend of mine at high school around about 1985 I think or 86 gave me a copy of this album on cassette and it's what really made me go from liking this band to loving them and the album of course I'm talking about is their third album Fear of Music from 1979. Um, as you can see my covers a little bit tattered got a bit of a, a sticker tear but um, I mean there's just so many good songs on this album and I love the fact that this album sounds so paranoid um, I mean songs like Cities and Drugs and Ezimbra and um, Electricity and I mean well it's called Drugs on this album it was originally called Electricity when they were playing it live um, just so many good songs. Life During Wartime is a, a big song from this album. Um, yeah, it's just everything about this album just is very special to me and that's why it's my number one. So that's the Talking Heads uh, catalogue. I'll go through them again from best to my most favourite to least favourite. At number one we have Fear of Music. At number two, we have Remain in Light. At number three, we have Naked. At number four, we have More Songs About Buildings and Food. At number five, we have Talking Heads 77. At number six, we have Little Creatures. 
at number seven, speaking in tongues. And at number eight, still a good album though, and definitely worth a listen, is True Stories. So that's my Talking Heads album ranking. I'd love to hear in the comments what your ranking is, which albums are your favorites, which albums you don't like so much, where you agree with me, where you disagree with me. If you're not super familiar with Talking Heads, please go and have a listen to them on your listening app of choice and tell me what you think in the comments below. Uh, again, I'm still a young channel just getting started, so every like, comment and subscribe really helps the channel out. So if you could do those things, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'm Bicycle Legs and I'll see you in the next one.